Hello, everyone. My name is Gordon, the fastest express engine on the island of Zelda. Thomas isn't here right now to tell you another true story, but he was nice enough to let me tell you all that really happened on this railway, and I have the perfect one for you to listen to. This is the story. <laughs> It was an important day on the island because the Duke and Duchess of Boxford were visiting and I thought I was going to be picked as their special engine. After I got washed and polished, I was on my way to see them. But the signalman put me onto the sidings. I was very crossed. Then a silver engine that I've never seen before rushed past me like a speeding bullet. Teeming pistons. Who's that? I shouted out loud. When I finally made it to the ships, I soon found out. The engine's name was Spencer and James told me that he's the fastest engine in the world. I acted like I'm annoyed at him because I'm usually the fastest one on the island, but secretly I was impressed. Then the fat controller told Spencer that he needs to take the Duke and Duchess to their party at Marin Station. I told him that he'll need to take plenty of water because that was over my hill, but he told me he has plenty of water in such a rude attitude and then puffed away. I was trying to be really useful. When Thomas and I were collecting passengers at a station, Spencer rushed right past us. Don't forget the water, I shouted, but all he said in reply was, who cares? He'll be in trouble soon. And indeed he was. Spencer puffed halfway up the hill when he suddenly stopped. He realized his mistake and regretted not listening to me. When the fat controller got the news, he sent me to arrive at the station so I know what's going on. The station master told me and my crew about Spencer and I immediately started my journey to rescue him. When I made it to the hills, I teased him a little bit and he got very annoyed. I must have a leaky tank, he snapped. Perhaps, I said, but we better hurry. Everyone is waiting. After I got coupled up to Spencer, we immediately set off to Marin Station. We were on time when we made it, but Spencer was very embarrassed and didn't feel like a special engine at all. Well done, said the fat controller. We're the fastest engine on solder. I know that, I said, and felt very proud of myself. And that is the story of how I met Spencer and how him being a show-off went terribly wrong. Always remember to listen for advice from others because they might help you from getting into the wrong direction. Or else you will be in a lot of trouble with your parents, boss, or even best friends like what Spencer did. Oh. My express should be getting ready by now, so I better get going and take it because that's what really useful engines do and to be the credit of the railway. Come again soon and either Thomas, me or any other of our friends will tell you another true story that happened on this island. See you all another time.